Hello, it is I, IR Smart. Welcome back to Reading Comments. It's that time of the month. I'm doing this one a bit early because Jedi Survivor comes out in a few days, and I want to make a video about that, like, as soon as it comes out. So I'm going to be doing that. You can trust IR Smart to have a video on Jedi Survivor coming up next. If you're 5'11", you're considered tall because the appetite for a male in the U.S. is 5'9", so if you're 5'6", 5'8", you're considered short. Yes, if you're below 5'11", you're short. If you're above 5'11", you're too tall. 5'11", perfect type. I'm still on about this, guys. I'm still 5'11". It's still the perfect type. I haven't forgotten. Okay. Important answers to equally important questions. All for the price of their lives. Uh, I like this video. This is a fun video. That was good. Uh, I haven't watched John Wick 4 yet, and I can't believe they added Mr. Krabs. Yes, they did add Clancy Brown. It was pretty weird. It took me a second where I'm like, that guy looks looks kind of familiar. I'm like, is that... And then I like about half of the movie, I'm like, wait a minute, that's, that's Clancy Brown. I know that guy. He was Mr. Krabs. He played, like, two different Star Wars characters. Uh, so, yeah, pretty cool. Um, in addition to voicing Savage Press, Clint Brown also played a Deveroni in The Mandalorian Season 1, Chapter 6, The Prisoner. That same episode also featured fellow John Wick 4 co-star Natalia Tenna as a Twi'lek. In a way, it's poetry. It rhymes. Oh, yeah, I looked this... So, I, I was actually going to mention this, because he played Savage Press, and he played the Deveronian guy. But apparently, the Twi'lek lady was also in John Wick. She was... I don't remember what her character name was, but she was in the new John Wick, so I, I looked that up, and that was cool. Um, I've never seen the Jack Mo movies, I've heard they're good. They're pretty good. The first one's probably the best, and the fourth one is also really good. But the first one's probably the best. They're just good movies. They're good action, shooty, bunch of people die movies. It's really fun. Um, Bad Batch Season 2 has been amazing. I'm extremely excited for the finale. Hope for more seasons to come. Yeah, Bad Batch wrapped up this month, and Mandalorian. Uh, Bad Batch I loved so much. I, I did not expect to like it more than I liked Mandalorian Season 3. But, that's just how it is, so whatever. Um, I finally looked into what Detours was, and dang, guess it never came out. Yeah. I, I hold on to hope. One day, Detours will see the light of day, and we'll get to see it. We'll get to see that horrible mess that is George Lucas trying to, you know, get with the robot chicken people and make a weird animation. I hope we get to see it. I hope we get to see it. Um, how can you say that Love and Thunder was okay? That movie was fire. Really? He li Is he saying fire in a good way? I think that means good. That's weird. Like, I kind of enjoyed it, Thor Love and Thunder, but it got, like, so destroyed online, which really confused me, because it definitely isn't the worst Marvel movie. There's a lot of worse, more boring, more annoying Marvel movies. So, I don't know. At least, you know, Natalie Portman was in it. That was cool. Uh, Mr. Re <laughs> Mr. Smart really out here posting on Walter Wednesday. Guys, just, I, I tell you to join my Discord server, but it's weird, Just so just don't. Um, now we just need Anthony Manuel and Iris Smart to team up and take down an even more annoying person, like when F Frieza... Frieza and Goku fight Jiren? Yeah, don't know what that means. Um, anyway, I was today years old when I learned about the sacred helmet button. Yep, here it is again. Helmet button, guys. Do you like this weird, annoying echo? I don't. It's quite annoying, because it's like right here. The speaker's right here. I don't know if you can see that. This is a speaker. This is where the voice comes out of. So I'm hearing it in like my left ear here. It's quite annoying. Um, I like Korriban or Moriban because it's interesting. Does it mean I want to go there? No. But well, I can respect an environment from a far, far distance away. Yeah, that's interesting. Apparently this is the, like, Sith planet or whatever. It's called Korriban. But then it got changed to Moriban because, like, George Lucas forgot the name or something. I don't remember the exact story, but it's something like that. Anthony Emmanuel likes to hate but keeps commenting lol, he is obsessed with you. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's, uh, it, it's a whole thing. I guess he kind of moved on. I'm glad. I really didn't like just having someone I always had to argue with in the comments. That was just kind of annoying. So I'm glad he's kind of chilled out. And I just, you know, I like, I don't want to antagonize people. That's not what I'm here for. If someone antagonizes me, though, I'm going to antagonize them back. But I don't want to be, I want to be a good channel, right? I want to be a channel with all, you know, Star Wars fans. I want us to all be able to come here and enjoy my content. I want to make content about all different kinds of Star Wars. That's what I want to do with this channel. I don't want to just be, oh, you like this? Get out of here. I don't want to be that kind of channel, okay? Um, Yoda clutched his chest in pain as the Jedi home bros were stood up by hundreds, and I clutched my chest for this, but I still have checked the true swagger of a stormtrooper, unfiltered, unwritten, respectfully revealed. This man, this cookie man, leaves the most unhinged comments I've ever seen in my life. I have no idea what half of them mean. Uh, this channel really does have the, its own ever-changing story, oh, ever, yeah, ever-changing story, but don't let it distract you from the fact the Mythosaur is... It just is. Okay. Um, when in doubt, do a Palpatine and win your way to victory by acting like everything is going according to your plan. Always. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's about it. Um, as of right now, just nine months away already. Christmas is in nine months. <laughs> Guys, no, shut up. I'm not thinking about this right now. Uh, I had a lot of comments. Yes, you did. You left a lot of comments. 
Uh, the Disney Sabres are so different. No, 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 no. Disney Sabres are good. All right, I'm, I will die on this hill. Disney Sabres are good. They look good. All right, maybe some other ways they're not as good, but they look really good. Okay, I will die on that hill. Prequels and originals are the best. Sequels, eh, but I don't hate it. I'll take it. That's progress, I say. That's progress. People are saying, eh, but I don't hate it. That's progress. That's progress from most Star Wars fans just being like, I hate it. They're awful. So I'll take it. Another good video. Keep the good work. Thank you. These, these are the best comments. I really love these. These make my day better. Um, the guy talking makes it worse in the game. I, yeah, there's a there's a narrator in this game. I'm pretty sure I turned him off when I was last. I haven't played that game since, since I made this video because I hate it so much. I can't beat it and it annoys me. Uh, I want to see Darth Plague as live action. It would be pretty cool. It would be kind of cool. Uh, the only terrible, the only thing terrible at the finale was we must not wait a while to see the conclusion. Yeah, they said that Bad Batch Season 3 is going to be the final season, which I think is good. I don't really want them to drag it out super long. I think three seasons is good. So, uh, guess I'll have to renew my Dis Disney Plus subscription. I love tragic endings. Yeah, get into the free trial. Just binge all the Bad Batch and all the Mandalorian. You'll be all set. Don't, don't pay for it. I, I keep, I keep my subscription going because I can usually use it for like videos and stuff. But, uh, and I also, I want to watch all the new stuff. But, yeah, yeah, don't, don't, there's really nothing good besides, like, the Star Wars stuff. Um, Yoda, you'd, th you'd think, I don't know why I said Yoda, you'd think he would have a, li a life hack to stay alive. But it'd be that way sometimes. They don't think it'd be the way. But, in fact, it do. Yeah, Tech dying. <laughs> I genuinely cried. I, I, don't, I think I mentioned that, but I genuinely cried when Tech died. I was so sad. It was like, oh my goodness. I, I cannot remember the last time something has made me cry. But it was like it was like a little tear. It wasn't a big. It was a little tear. But I was like, no, you can't kill Tech. He was my favorite member of the Bad Batch. You knew who killed him. He was like, ooh, calculations. I'm all smart. Ooh, he was like C-3PO, but like a guy, and he was cool. I don't know. Um, it, it's a Dave Filoni show. Tech's fine. <laughs> yeah, they. I, I really hope they don't bring him back. Don't do this to me. Don't you know? Don't make me think he's dead and then bring him back. That'd be so stupid. Who's not fine of the mental state of the writers of the show? Decided to just drop the cliffhanger as a finale. Um, I need me some Ark versus Commando action? Okay. I want to punch Hunter and Wrecker for not having the name of the planet Hemlock said, and Scorch and every other Imperial CC for being Imperial. Why are the CCs so obedient? Why weren't inhibitor chips not as effective? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Sagarera sucks, honestly. Uh, Krennic looks like a... <laughs> he does. Um, Death to the Trend. <laughs> yeah, Sid. I hate Sid. Everyone hates Sid. I, I, there we go. Heart to that comment. Um, oh geez. I love how Echo's inner Rex came out in this finale. They need to bring back his camera skirt. Yeah, they got rid of it. It was cool. I love the camera. Like, can I have one of those in real life? I think they look sick. People would call it a skirt and they'd get made fun of, but it'd be cool if I had a camera. Uh, Daisy Ridley is the exact textbook you happen to be reading. I call it... It was so weird. So I, I, I have a... For, like, I'm almost done with, with my uh, another uh, semester of college classes, right? I actually have an exam today. Later today. Uh, I'm recording this before an exam, so... Yeah, could be studying, but it's fine. Uh, anyway, so I have a, a big textbook for all sorts of, like, businessy stuff. And one of the things is, like, you know, oh, celebrities will promote their new movies. Here's an example of Daisy Ridley on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. I'm like, of all the textbooks, of all the possible celebrities they could have mentioned, the exact one I'm reading for this exact class I'm taking has Daisy Ridley in it. That's, that's weird. <laughs> um, Destiny, yeah. I'm not really, I've never played Destiny. Apparently it's good. All my, all my friends play it. They're like, oh, dude, play Destiny. I'm like, eh, no thanks. Um, uh, I haven't seen it yet, and to be honest, I'm not expecting it to be that good. I mean, it, Bad Batch, it was kind of, I think it was overall better than Mandalorian season. It was more consistent, but there were some stinker episodes. I'm not going to lie. Um, uh, rest in peace, Tech. He went from li living nerd emoji to a genuinely amazing character in just a season. Yeah, I liked him when he was just, you know all nerdy too, but like, the fact that they took him and went so far with him in season 2 just to kill him was, ah. Uh, I just started watching Bad Batch and I'm visibly confused. Yeah, I hope I didn't spoil anything for you, because that sucks. Uh, Sid sucks, but Saw Gerrera is a real problem. Yeah, I'm glad everyone hates Saw Gerrera now. I already hated him because he was a rebel, but now everyone hates him because he's the reason Tech died. Uh, I was shocked and sad when Tech died. Yeah, that, me too. Easy dub, make the quizzes harder. Yeah, I made a quiz. It was about, I think that one was like, uh, what year was, what year did Star Wars come out? And everyone got it, because it was 1977. But I think I, uh, actually, let me check. Alright, so yeah, most people got it right, as I figured. I did trick a few people with 1966. Um, but yeah, pretty much, pretty much everyone figured this is the year Empire Strikes Back came out. This is the year, uh, Phantom Menace came out. But still, I thought it was a pretty decent pull. Right on the first try. Clearly, I'm a genius. Please send my trophy in the mail as soon as I, 
as I fully intend to use it as my new gaming cup to consume copious amounts of gamer fuel until I can see the HUD of real life as well. Thanks. Yeah, I, you know, uh, in lore, Stormtroopers have uh, HUDs on their helmets. Can I have that? That'd be so cool if I could have a heads-up display in real life. Seriously. Uh, I got it right. What do I win? If you got this wrong, yeah. I mean, it's a pretty well-known fact Star Wars came out in 1977. And I'm glad to see most people do know that. I just wanted to make sure. Uh, some people got it wrong, but for the most part, people got it right. So that makes me feel good. I like Star Wars 78 more, to be honest. Uh, I think he's referring to the holiday special, because that came out in 1978. Because, uh, oof, yikes. Uh, I got this right, and I would have been embarrassed if I got it wrong. Yeah. First try. Clearly I'm the master and you are the learner. Well, no, I'm the master, you're the learner. I, you just prove that you know your stuff. I'm still like the teacher. I'm the one giving you the quiz. That doesn't make me the learner, idiot. So, I'm just kidding. Uh, if you put Revenge of the No way you put Revenge of the Sith in B tier. It's an S tier. No. It is a B tier movie. I will... I get, this is another hill I will die on. Revenge of the Sith is so incredibly overrated. I mean, the prequels as a whole, but like... Everyone acts like Revenge of the Sith is so good it redeems the entire prequels. This isn't true. I like it. It's a super fun movie to watch. I enjoy the heck out of watching Revenge of the Sith. It doesn't mean it's a good movie, alright? That doesn't automatically mean it's amazing. In my enjoyment, I would put it in S tier, but of actually how good it is, it is B tier, alright? There, there's a lot of dumb stuff in it. It's still a prequel movie, still got a lot of silliness, and that's why I put it in B tier, alright? So shut up! <laughs> I don't really care. Um... Uh, Iris Smart, are you still mo not monetization? Man, YouTube is brutal. Yeah. I mean, it, it just is... Again, I've said this I said this time and time again. It's watch time. Uh, getting watch time is kind of difficult. Because you have to give people larger videos. And I'm not, like, super crazy into YouTube and getting all this stuff. I've had some videos I did pretty well recently. But I'm, not, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get close. I'm eventually gonna get there. Hopefully it, it works out one day. I don't know. Star Wars is cringe. Oh yeah, I made that first April Fool's joke. I made a post saying, I'm going to be honest, guys, I don't really like Star Wars. So yeah, April Fool's was a fun day. Uh, why didn't the Bad Batch just go to the island or where the Empire was tracking them? Uh, yeah, and then I basically just explained the whole plot to them. Basically, uh, okay. <laughs> Cringe consumer fandom. I hate this consumer thing people say. Like, obviously he's making fun of people here, but like, consumer is such a thing, I, like, you say, like, oh, guys, have you seen the new uh, Mandalorian season? What do you think about it? Oh, you're a consumer. You're a consumer. You just consume product and don't even think about it. I'm like, no, that's not what I do. I'm just, I just watch this show. And it's like, oh, but I, I, I like, I watch anything Disney. Apparently I'm a consumer. What, uh, like, jeez. Uh, same. Yeah. Uh, av av Avella... Avela Ver Verandella. I'm gonna I'm gonna get it eventually. I'm gonna figure out your name eventually. I'm sorry. Uh, yippee! Yeah, face reveal. <laughs> I freaking knew it. Yes. Uh, my face is just another stormtrooper helmet. I, I people have been saying this for years. I finally showed you guys. My face really is just another stormtrooper helmet. I, that's just how it is. So, I think that your channel is interesting, and it will be eternally. Aw, oh, thank you. That another great comment. April Fools. Yeah. Is that the original trilogy on DVD behind you? Uh, VHS. I think I've showed this before, right, guys? Look at this. This is this is original Star. I've, I've showed this in a, uh, a couple things before, but this is Star Wars not special edition. This is the last time they released Star Wars before making the prequels and then going back and remaster remastering the uh, the original trilogy. So this is the original. Um, I mean, before they they like made the visuals a bit better. It's the THX like uh, like visual enhanced version, but still. It's the closest we can get to the original, like, theater release of the original trilogy. That's what I have. And it is very cool. He took the helmet off and referenced Deadpool. Yeah, I didn't get this joke at first. Basically, there's a scene in Deadpool I forgot about where, where Deadpool, like, takes off his mask and he has, like, a paper cutout of, like, I think it's Ryan Reynolds. I mean, because obviously it's Ryan Reynolds playing the character. I think he had, like, a Ryan Reynolds face cutout. Anyway, uh, everybody's chill until he turns out he was Dream this whole time. Hey, guys. My name is Clay. Yeah, that'd be really cringe, wouldn't it be? Uh, he will never take, he never take, he never take off your helmet. This is the way. Yep, this is the way. I saw a video by, uh, Arl Knots. They did a, they did the this is the way count for every time throughout the Mandalorian. They say this is the way. Funny video, I would, would recommend. Uh, the shocking part is that the helmet actually came off. I would have thought it was just part of you. It does feel like that sometimes. Sometimes I wear this for so long, it feels like it's actually stuck to my head. Um, shocking. Even though I can hear you, your, your real voice... Uh, even though I can hear your real voice, lol, April Fool's indeed. I mean, you're already hearing my real voice, it's just a bit muffled. Um, and I guess for some of the videos that I don't use video and I just use audio, I just record without the helmet. I don't know if people notice, 
but I notice. Um, so you got the helmet on, so you don't have to bathe in the living waters. Yeah, bathe in the living waters. What a weird thing. Like, oh, hey, so you want to be a Mandalorian again? You have to do this incredibly specific task. You have to go to Mandalore and bathe in the living waters. And then he's like, but those don't exist. And Armor's like, well, that sucks. What? What do you want him to do then? Like, imagine you go to school and your teacher's like, hey, so you kind of got a bad grade on this task. The only way you're going to pass the class is if you, um, you know, like, go back in time and change your grade. And you're like, I can't do that. And you're like, well, that sucks. <laughs> That's basically what the armor system and Mando. He somehow does it anyway. And he's just like, okay, cool, you bathe in the living waters. Which should have been impossible, but whatever. Uh, for real, like, when it was the last time anyone fought an actual star. Yeah, seriously. Like, it's Star Wars. When are we gonna get fighting stars? Like, that's so boring. Uh, could have been a short... Probably could have been a short, but... Uh, the point of an April Fool's video is to trick people. So I figured, it, like, tricking people would look better if I made a full video with a big full thumbnail and all that. So, I think I tricked people pretty good. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, man's was Charmix the entire time? I don't know what that means. Should I look that up? I don't know what that means. I still don't know why Luke never used the Force to call Gandalf to send a giant eagle to help him on Bespin. Um, yeah, I watched, like, the first three Lord of the Rings movies. The, the, the ones. I haven't seen the Hobbit ones, and I don't really care. I don't really see why everyone likes it so much. It's kind of boring. Uh, original trilogy is mid. You're joking. <laughs> You're joking. You're joking. <laughs> Um, interesting. Oh, jeez. I knew, I, I, I vaguely remember making this video, but that's just, I, I don't remember it being that good, so I, don't watch it. Okay. Oh, wow, you're handsome. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank, thank you. It makes me feel very good. Um, it would be even better if someone tried to take off his helmet, and then it turns out the helmet, there's just no head. Like, I'm just, like, the headless horseman, but, no, no, I guess that would fit, but I'm, but, like, I'm not a horseman, so I'm the helmless, he headless, he helmless, Hemis, he headless stormtrooper. Um, chin reveal. I, I actually did show off my chin. I'm pretty sure you like. Can you see it now? Uh, I don't know if you can see that. There's my chin. So I've already shown it off, so I can show it again. Uh, bro had a feel. Bro, I had a feeling. Yeah, I'm not gonna show you my face. I like to be anonymous. It's fun. Uh, you mean he isn't a Lego character? I'm skeptical. The jury is still out. I mean, I have a Lego stormtrooper downstairs, and I guess I still have you know this this nice stormtrooper display stand. So this is pretty cool. I got, I got, it's a Lego set. I got, it's a little Stormtrooper helmet. I like this. It's a nice thing to go on my desk. Um, uh, where men sweat out their eyeballs. Yeah, that, that yeah, no, I didn't cry. I, I was sweating out of my eyeballs when tech died. I didn't cry. Um, it's like the old Kylo Ren minifigure. It's actually pretty funny. Uh, because the old Kylo Ren minifigure, before they gave him, like, the, the Adam Driver face, was just, like, a big helmet piece. And then the face print was just a print of the face, of, of like, the helmet. So you could put a hood on it. So, I still don't see why they couldn't just have made, like, a cloth that went over the... Whatever. Um, yeah, the Mandalorian is a bit OP. It's not mentioned as much as Ray's power, but I still think there are a lot of criticisms about how powerful he is with the main... Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm still thinking about this video. I don't think it was very good. I think my arguments were pretty bad, honestly. I kind of just crapped that video out, you know, like, as the Mandalorian was coming out. Whatever. Um, like, it's kind of OP, but I didn't make good arguments in that video. So, uh, that was a stinky on my part. Anyway... Uh, your opinion, man, there's nothing wrong about it. However, I do like Star Wars, except Episode Eight. Um, I, I was making a joke. <laughs> like, like I just want to make that clear. I was making a joke. It's when he says, except Episode Eight. Like, I guess he likes Episode Nine then? And Episode Seven? Huh, weird. Uh, man, Star Wars is the worst. Uh, also, Rise of is the only good thing that came out of it. There we go. That's a real April Fool's post. Uh, a little overrated, not gonna lie. That I actually kind of agree with. Um... Uh, you both look kind of, you, you looking kind of cute, not, not gonna lie. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I, I, I do think I look pretty good. Um, yeah, I got it good. The end of my, the end, in my opinion, season three, no more Sid missions, please. Well, I'm pretty sure they're not gonna work with Sid anymore since she literally betrayed them. But yeah, to be fair, I believe that this is the first time we've heard you're un, you unmuffled. So this is the big, it's not. Like, I, I literally had a whole, like, Jedi, uh, Jedi Fallen Order video where I wasn't wearing the helmet and it was just me and a microphone. Because there's no camera, so I was just unmuffled. But okay, sure. Uh, the second tech started running on the track, back to the train, I was like, oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> also, Kevin Keener is the John Williams of Star Wars animation. He's really good. He has some really good songs. I don't know if I'd say it's Kevin Keener, Kiner, I don't know. Uh, honestly, I would give the season an 8 out of 10. It was much more enjoyable than The Mandalorian Season 3 currently is. Yeah, even after it wrapped up, I would still agree with that. The Star Wars fanbase be like, it's treason. <laughs> 
It's treason, babe. I can't do the screech that Palpatine does, but I, I could try. Uh, we need a Star Wars What If series. Like, seeing Luke take Palpatine's place would be interesting. Yeah, it'd be really... I, like, I guess... I don't know. We kind of have Star Wars Visions, which is actually coming up with a Season 2, which looks pretty sweet. So, I don't know. Maybe if they did, like, a Star Wars Visions What If, but I don't know. It'd be difficult to do. Uh, if Luke was as easily convinced as Anakin, and Palpatine must have tripped, been pushed down some stairs or reactor shaft because he loved that chair too much, and leave it for, like, five minutes. Yeah, this is such a cool picture, though. It's like a behind-the-scenes. Mark Hamill is just like, I'm gonna sit in Palpatine's chair like this. Also, also, where can I get a Palpatine chair? I saw, like, a guy have one in his house, and I want one. Like, imagine, like, I just have a boring desk chair. Imagine I had, like, a Palpatine throne for videos. That would be sick. It had, like, all the buttons on the side, too, so I could be like, Fire at the wheel, command. That, that would be so cool. Huh. <laughs> How I sit when I'm playing Monopoly with family. I'm a scheming mastermind. Yes. Monopoly. Just, you want to hate someone, play Monopoly with them. Incredible. Uh, so Luke won the Star Wars. Time for a victory dance. Hit that yoinky spoinky, Luke. Can I say that? Did I just say something bad? I don't know if I want to know. Um, the episodes that stood out really did stand out. Respectfully. Is this man okay? Is this man mentally sane? I mean, I'm not, but like, I'm, I'm wondering if he is. Uh, Emperor Luke would be sick as heck. It would be sick as heck. That'd be very cool. Um, you know, that reminds me, uh, George actually, like, had a, had an idea, like, when he was writing the script, he's like, okay, so what if, like, at Vader's funeral, uh, Luke were to just, like, pick up Vader's helmet, put it on, and say, I'm Vader now, and that was it, that's how the movie ended. Then someone just said, George, George, that's stupid, don't do that, just give us the happy ending, and he's like, okay, fine. So, I don't know why George ever thought that would be a good idea, but sure. I'm a Sith Lord, like my father before me. Imagine if Luke turned to the dark side. I mean, that's that's kind of what I said. It'd be kind of silly, though. People would still, you know, it could be the most terrible story ever, and people would still be like, oh, it's better than episode 8, Luke. Go away. Okay. Bye. Ah, oh, come on. Do you guys actually think I was gonna leave? I'm not gonna leave. Come on. Come on. Uh, those clones sure do activate my neurons, and character development pours hot butter on my brain, you know, in a good way. Uh, I gotta give it props for the good uh, good imagery. That's, that's some pretty good word choice and really creates a picture in my mind. So that's a pretty good write, uh, comment right there. Uh, I'm 5'10", but no, not no, not close enough. Um, sees Iris Mar playing on the Rebel side. All of a sudden, it smells like treason in here. No, I'm not, I made the Rebels lose, okay? <laughs> Meet the spy. Um, do you want a Battlefront 3? It'd be cool. But I don't think it, I don't think it'll happen. Like it, it would be cool, but I really don't think it's gonna happen because Battlefront 2015 was pretty good, but then they just kind of remade it into Battlefront 20, uh, 2017, and then that went on, then it died, then it kind of came back, and then it died again. And I don't really think they're gonna make a Battlefront 3. It's probably not gonna happen. Maybe like 10 years down the line, but probably not. Uh, OMG, I totally 100% agree. I can't stand Mary Jane's character in all through the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movies. Who writes these awful scripts for Kispin Dunst? She's so annoying. I will, I, I'm still on about this. I hate Mary Jane so much. Uh, cha-cha slide your way to victory. No, I will not cha-cha slide. Okay. Low. I got it. Alright, this one. Somehow people got this one right. I made a, I made a quiz that people shouldn't have been able to do, but somehow people did. Look at this. So I, I literally made it impossible to figure out which one's the right answer other than just guesswork. Somehow 65% of people got it right. How? How did people know it was going to be the third one? Like, how do people just know that? Unless, like, maybe, like, that you can change... Because I think you can change your answer afterwards, but I don't know if it counts that in percentage. Maybe, I think the percentage is the first one they click on. Still, that's crazy. I got it first try. The Master has returned, youngings. All right, honestly, in that case, you probably did use some Jedi magic to figure it out. Three is my lucky number. Okay. My lucky number is, uh, eight. I, I don't know. I just always like that number. It's a good number. Uh, actually, <laughs> some of my accounts, when I need... Because sometimes Iris Smart is taken when I create an account for something. And I'm like, what the heck? Who stole my name? So I just do Iris Smart 8. I think it's like my Xbox name is Iris Smart 8. Because, I don't know. I like the number 8. I put it on my name sometimes. Uh, I got it first try. Easy. Lol, first try. Uh, third one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this video was actually quite enjoyable. Keep up the good work. Thank you. I put a lot of fun. I put, I put a lot of work in that video and it was very fun. Jeez, I put a lot of fun. Good job, brain. Uh, I just guessed lol. <laughs> uh, you you outsmarted me, but I outsmarted you're outsmarting. 
You can't outsmart the IR smart. IR smart. You are not smart. I outsmart the You are smart. Jeez. Uh, Luke is now the Senate. Yeah. He is the Senate now. Uh, you fool. I've been trading in your Jedi arts. I can't do a Grievous very well. Um, uh, some high expectations, some low expectations, but don't let the new stuff distract you from the fact that Count Dooku was a visionary. He was cut in his short in the prime by the Jedi. Uh, I kind of want to make a video about Count Dooku. He's a really cool guy. Like, just like, I don't know. He's all about like splitting from the Republic, which is kind of cool because the Republic kind of sucks. He didn't. He isn't really the great best guy, like as a person. But I mean, he was he was a visionary. You know, he he had all this cool stuff. Um, they could do the best film ever created with Ray, but trash. That started a story. An entire trilogy is still be there and can't removed. I can't believe Ray will successfully create a new Jedi Order when Luke Skywalker failed. Well, um, I think Luke is gonna help in this process. Um. And, yeah, but, like, the, the whole thing is I'm still on this thing about, like, sure, the sequels are bad, but so are the prequels, and they were made better for the Clone Wars series and other things. Yeah. Um, the, the best part is that the prequels weren't a bad copy and paste of the OT. Well, neither were the sequels. Episode 7 is kind of a, like, it is it's kind of a remake of A New Hope, but it, that was by design, because it was a, kind of like a reboot. And I think it was, I think it was a great idea. Episode 8, though, was a really, it was not at all like they were no trilogy. It was not a reboot. Episode, se episode 9 was because they literally had no other option. They kind of had to bring back Palpatine after Episode 8. But Episode 8 is really unique and different, and that's why I like it. Um, wait, Andor Season 2 is releasing next summer? The Acolyte, Andor, and Ahsoka are the most appealing ones to me, in my opinion. Yeah, honestly, I'm, I'm looking forward to the future of Star Wars. It looks pretty good. I'm always excited for more Star Wars media, but stay cautiously optimistic. Yeah, uh, may maybe some more game announcements or something as well. Yeah, I made a whole post just going over the, the Star Wars Celebration stuff. That happened this month. I was kind of watching it on the live stream. I'd love to go sometime, though. Uh, Andor Season 2 details, uh, spoiler-ish, they're going to cover four years, three episodes per year, and a time jump between each time. They will end it right at the start of Rogue One. Diego said, you're going to want to watch the movie right after. I have heard that. That that looks... Or I, I guess I heard... I, well, I've heard it now, since you commented. But, but like, I, I, it's cool. I, I'm excited for Andor Season 2, obviously. Um... I know you're happy Ray is coming back. I am I am fairly excited. I'm not like losing my mind excited, but I'm pretty excited. Uh, I'm really hoping that some of the content from Duel of the Fates uh, is reintroduced in my movie. I don't know how they would. That movie was... I don't, I don't really know how they would do that. Because there's all these things. Maybe having Ray finally having a double blade lightsaber. That's something I wanted since episode 7 when she used a staff. I think her having a double blade lightsaber would be sick. And also just seeing a Jedi character rather than just only Darth Maul having a double blade lightsaber. I think it'd be cool. I think it'd be really cool. Uh, yeah, I never watched Star Wars Rebels, so I'm probably not as excited for the Ahsoka show as you are, but it seems really cool. Maybe I'll find time to watch all Rebels, but unlikely. It's okay. I don't really like it, but it's okay. The Battlefront 2 side of the service is a pathway to many lag spikes, some considered to be unnatural. <laughs> Sun Tzu, the 501st journal. Ah, uh, lag. What a wonderful thing. Moral of the story. Spinning isn't that good of a trick. I don't like spinning. Funny I got it right the first time. How? How do people get it, keep getting it right? It's Passover. It was not Passover. I posted this on Easter. I think maybe Passover happens at the same time, but come on, Easter. Happy Easter. That's freaking Jesus Christ. It is Jesus Christ. He's skateboarding. He's, he's, he's skateboarding for our sins. Um, and a happy Easter to you too, smart man. Maybe filled with space, Jesus, and eggs. Hopefully cooked eggs or chocolate ones, as long as you don't eat them raw. Yeah, crunchy on the outside, gooey on the inside. There's no other... Why this emoji? Huh? Why? Um, not very Easter themed video. Well, I had that video done, and I needed a video for the day. So, Indiana Jones, it's kind of relevant to Easter, since, you know, like, there's the Ark of the Covenant, and, like, you know, the, the Holy Grail, Cup of Jesus. So, I mean, it's kind of related to the religion and stuff. Um, I've never seen the movies. Then I would highly recommend them. They're so flippin' good. They're so amazing. I love them so much. This is what Easter and Star Wars are all about. Yes, totally. Jesus skateboarding. Um, Lego games exhibit crackhead energy, but in a good way to me. Uh, so me gusta. Han Solo with a whip. Han Solo with a whip. Han Solo in a hat. Yeah. The thing is, it's fun because uh, in I think I think both. I don't know if it's in both games, but I know in Lego Star Wars you can unlock Indiana Jones because uh, that was like the next game they were making. So you get Indiana Jones as a playable character. I think Han Solo. Is unlockable in one of the Lego Indiana Jones games. I don't remember though. Watch uh, Kihei Kwan's Oscar speech after you mentioned it, and just wow, it's incredible. It was so good. It was incredible, honestly. It's really good. Go watch it. Uh, what a good video. Good writing. It feels new. The background music choice, all of it. 
could honestly go against some of those hour-long retrospectives you see on the home page every now and then. Yeah, I'm not a big video essay fan, but I wanted to try and make something that was kind of like a video essay. I, I, th I guess this would technically count, fall under a video essay, but I don't know. I just think some video essays just get so full of themselves. Um, I just wanted to make a shorter video that was just talking about something I really enjoyed, and I think it was nice. It was nice to make a bit of a detour from what I regularly make on the channel. Um, happy Easter. Thank you. Uh, Easter is pretty cool. And there wasn't really anything special this year, but it was cool. Easter is a fun holiday. I don't know. Uh, I never, I, I never not think of Indiana Jones every time I see a large rolling boulder in real life. And how often has that happened? At least once. Really. You've, you've seen a giant boulder rolling. Okay. Um, the Temple of Doom was the first Indiana Jones movie I ever watched. Someone's always been special and nostalgic to me. Because I was very young, I also hope the new movie coming out this summer will be good. Because I can't stand to see the end of a saga get screwed up like Rise of Skywalker. It might happen. It's probably going to happen. But I'm holding on to hope that it'll be good. Because, ah, please. Um, he's looking straight into me. Yeah, the Stormtrooper stare. I don't know where I even got the idea. I saw a post that was something kind of like it. And I was like, I can do that. Uh, this is right up where the Vader stare. The main difference is you'd probably rather see this in a dark hallway than Vader. Yeah. Someone play the perfect girls slowed in zoom onto this trooper picture. Yeah, literally me, Iris, my edit. Please, somebody make that. That'd be hilarious. Um, happy to see Charlie pulling off some sick flips. Um, yeah. This is a reference to, 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 uh, to, to Charlie. He's a YouTuber. Um, he looks kind of like Jesus. So that's kind of cool. Um, lol. Uh, when your clone does something, it means I might kill you. When Vader does it, it means you're going to die. When a Stormtrooper does... It means just somehow disappointing them so much they don't even want to waste time killing you. Yeah. Uh, truly the hardest battles were being fought that day. Dude, I was going... <laughs> I was losing it when I was recording. I'm like, just... I want to play the game. Why can't it just play? Why do I have to deal with lag? It's annoying. Uh, ever notice how lucky Grogu is? He survived Order 66. He survived Kylo Ren trashing Luke's new Jedi Order. Or wasn't there to be... Well, he wasn't there to begin with. Because we know he left the Jedi Order to be with Mando again. So, Yeah. Uh, dare you face the stare? In fact, I want my pain to be inflicted on others. I want no one to escape. What is one here for guessing right is the same as Ahsoka gave Master Mundi everlasting respect but from Lord Smart. Or no, Anakin. I don't know why I said Ahsoka. What? When did Anakin give something to Master Mundi? I don't remember. Was that something in the Clone Wars? Uh, Ingerbirds is awesome. It's even canon in Legends. How, do, how is it canon in... How does that work? Anyway, Aiden Rupert's... I love how I made this post talking about, like... I, like, I genuinely forgot about Daisy Ridley's birthday. So, like, I... Like, almost, like, last couple of years, I've, I've always been like, Oh, it's Daisy Ridley's birthday, guys. But, like, I didn't do anything this year because I genuinely forgot. It was, like, because her birthday's on April 10th. It was April 11th, and I was like, Oh, my gosh. I forgot. Anyway, then Angry Bird Star Wars. Guys, if I showed you Angry Bird Star Wars, give me a sec. So, I'm on these, uh, these Cloud City levels. I think it's... Like, I, I, got, I downloaded this game. It, it's not on the App Store anymore. I had to go to the, through a ton of hoops. To find this but it's so cool guys look at look at you see this you like you like shoot that like th this is like the lando character he can like he's like the he, and then he like crushes all the stormtrooper pigs and then it, like collapses the whole thing and you have like the the luke bird and he like has a lightsaber and it's really cool like i really like this game oh i almost ah, i almost got him oh there's only two left okay but, yeah, i mean it's basically just basic angry birds they decided star wars i never played it when it came out so playing it now is actually super fun so, it's a fun game to have on my phone. Yes and. Okay. Uh, 10 out of 10 writing. Also, yes. It's definitely canon. How could it not be? Except for Angry Birds Star Wars 2. I saw there is a sequel. I'm, I'm, I'm curious to play it. I'm going to play it probably after I play the first game. 100% canon. Angry Birds Star Wars is so cool. I guess a lot of other people remember, Ang like, probably grew up with Angry Birds Star Wars. I, I never played it. I think... I don't know. I guess I just never played it. I remember playing Angry Birds when I was a kid. Like, I played the first game. So... I don't know. Apparently the new one sucks. Like, there's an Angry Birds 2, and it's just all, like, paid microtransaction, like, uh, stuff, which sucks. So, I don't know. I love how in 1977 they made a film based on this game, and after that, ten other films came out. Truly amazing. Also, a lot of series based on that game came out. Yeah, Angry Birds Star Wars. Truly a, a masterpiece. Uh, no, but George Ewell's 1984 theoretically exists as a novel within the universe in Legends. A clone commando refers to the Jedi as Thought Police at one point. That's actually kind of cool. Huh. What do you know? Apparently it's in a book. I've been playing more of the Republic Commando game. Uh, it's quite fun. I uh, always thought it was an altered altered universe. It actually got taken down in my country where the original was. World 4. Yeah. I, I couldn't find it on the App Store anywhere. I had to go searching the, online to find a download for it. 
Uh, so I hope I didn't get a virus. But uh, yes, but not Angry Birds Star Wars 2. Huh. What, like, apparently you play as, like, the bad guys in Angry Birds Star Wars 2? I don't really know. Um, you should make a Pirate of the Caribbean video if you've seen the movies. I really do need to rewatch those. I, I watched, like, a few of them as a kid, but I have not watched them since, and I really should. And I think, like, the latest one that came out a couple years ago I haven't seen. Is it me or is the second image not expanding? Like, okay, yeah. YouTube media posts are just awful. Sometimes you'll, like, click on a video when it's supposed to expand the image, but then you have to, like, scroll the next one and then scroll back a couple times, and then it goes. It's annoying. Um, why would we need Filoni's wor world word to decanonize the sequels? We can do that ourselves. Or we could just not, since it'd be super annoying to do that. But, I don't know. Like, like just headcanon. Like, I, I don't get that. I don't get the people who are like, I, I do, the sequels aren't canon to me. I don't think they're canon. It's like, well, I don't think you're canon. Huh? How's that? Huh? How you like that? I don't think your head is canon. Got him. I think uh, it's not canon that you're smart. I think it's canon that you're stupid. All right? Canon's whatever I want it to be, right? So, I think you're done. Dumb. Got him. Um, but see, why are people like that? Like, I don't get you the sequel's canon. Okay, it doesn't matter what you think. You're going to decide what's canon. Um, as, it, as amazing as the theme was, I busted out laughing as soon as I realized they were using the talking stick. Yeah, I talked about that in my review I just uploaded today. The talking stick. What, what's so silly? Uh, I want Palpatine to somehow return as a bitter old force ghost and constantly nag Rey about joining the dark side. Basically, I want a weird comedy. But on a serious note, I'd, I'd like to see some Rey character development, her struggles and strengths, and Finn as a Jedi Knight. I'm pretty sure I saw a rumor he's coming back. John Boyega is going to play Finn again, which I really hope is good, because I'm pretty sure he hates Disney now, because they kind of screwed him over with the sequels, but I really hope they get to make his character good. Or they'll just ruin him again. I'm not going to lie, I kind of want to Ray ha have the best film and character growth, just so I can see many people switch up their opinion, while Iris Smart just sits back and goes, well, 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 how the turntables. Yeah, that's going to be great. If this movie turns out to be good, and I'm just going to end up having been right the entire time, ooh, that's going to be a good feeling. I really hope that happens. Or it's going to suck and I'm going to look like an idiot. That's probably going to happen. Uh, when someone calls a Stormtrooper clone and vice versa. It's so annoying, guys. Like, they're different, okay? They're different in so many ways. I hope it's good. Me too. Uh, a lot of people will cry about Rey, especially the Knights of Melon fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, do you have a Discord? I do. And then we had a whole thing just trying to figure out how to get him on the Discord. So, it was kind of a pain. I think he's in it now, but I don't know. Like, it's not that difficult. You just have to verify your email to get into Discord servers. I don't know why he can't figure out how to do that, but I don't know. Uh, hopefully it's good and redeems the sequels. God, I hope so. That'd be so good. Uh, oh, jeez. That's a lot of stuff. Um, I don't know. I don't get the people saying, like, oh, they should have just, you know, went with the EU. Like, the expanded universe is so cool. They should have just done all the Legends stuff. And, like, why? Why just be like, hey, we're going to have you write a new Star Wars movie, but you can only, like, just write based on this old book that somebody else wrote. It's like, no, just let the writers write whatever they want. I don't see why people think that they needed to follow Legends. Legends is cool, but it's its own thing. It's separate. George even said it himself. That's separate from his Star Wars. And Disney is pretty much separate from his Star Wars too. But, like, just let it be its own thing. Jeez, I don't know why would we have to do a movie version of the EU. Um, yeah, if you change the main character in the movie, it's going to be pretty different. What? I don't know what that means. Uh, the third one is pretty much all that Star Wars is nowadays. Just cameos and references. Yeah, that sucks. It really sucks. Especially, man, like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, as I'm 181 centimeters, which is half an inch above 5'11", and I'm 15 years old. Alright, well, now I'm jealous. Um, this is basically Imperial March. It does sound kind of like the Batman theme, yeah. Uh, it gives you a unique identity since I've seen way too many guys think dropping the F-bomb every 8 seconds is peak comedy. Yeah, I did a poll just to see if people care that I don't swear. Fudge. Yeah, I did a poll just to see if people care that I don't swear. Um, <laughs> care that I don't swear. Um, it, it's just a personal thing. Like, even just, like, outside of videos, I don't swear. It helps on YouTube, because YouTube just randomly changes their policies and them and say, Hey, if you swear, we're, like, canceling all your videos. Or not canceling, like, uh, demonetizing or taking them down. There was a whole thing about it. They fixed it now. Um, but I, I just don't swear as, like, a personal thing. Um, sometimes there are videos where I wanted to. Like, a couple of Palpatine videos, I think it'd be really funny if Palpatine just started dropping a bunch of swear words. Um, but I don't, because that's, it's just a personal thing. I don't like saying swear words. So, I don't know. I, I, I'm just, people don't really care. I was wondering if, like, there were some people who were really worried about me being family friendly. Because I was gonna, because I was thinking about making that video with the Wikipedia article, and I was worried that people were gonna be like, oh, this is such a vulgar topic, why would you talk about this? But thankfully no one was really like that. So, anyway. Um, IR Smart F-bomb drop, when? Uh, Frick? 
Um, say the F word! It's fries. I like fries. Okay. Um, people are going to judge Ray's actions and abilities very critically, especially when she took on the Skywalker name. If she does anything too impressive, people won't like it, but if she doesn't do anything super impressive, then people also won't like it, and Clan was boring. Yeah, it's almost as if the people who don't like Rey just complain about anything, because they just hate her character for some reason, and they don't have an actual reason to. They just hate her because they hate her. Huh, interesting. Uh, I don't really think about it or notice it before. Oh yeah, uh, by then. By then, by then. Uh, yeah, you could do bad words to mix it up. I mean, I occasionally say something that's a bit, like, more on the far side. Like I've said, I think there are probably a couple times people can dig up where I've said some kind of swear words. Like, hell or something like that. I don't know. Uh, hey, do you have a Discord server? Yes, I do. I have to keep posting that. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's also... I, I could post it in every video. I just don't feel like it. Um, if Andrew was able to get it with the S word, I don't see why you can't. I could. I don't really want to, though. Um, I think with Palpatine appears, everything on that meeting should kneel to him. Yes. I don't know how to edit that, though. This was just a fun video. I loved making this. Uh, gas. Lol. Yeah. Gas. Apparently that means good. Or, like, like great. Like, good. I don't know. Every, it seems like every week there's a new word that just appears. This is what it's like to be a member of Gen Z. I'm so confused every time people my age just come with a new word and I have to figure out what it means. Um, I could totally see Seth MacFarlane doing this in Robot Chicken. Yeah. Again, I wish I could do the Seth MacFarlane Palpatine voice. It's so good. I can kind of imitate it, but my voice, when I do the Palpatine voice, is closer to Ian McDiarmid, so that's just what I go with. Dark Empire confirmed! Yeah, maybe, I don't know. Uh, it's refreshing to see comedy, yet clean comedy. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I mean, I, I like, a lot of comedy I see is just like, bah, swear word, and it's just like, stuff like that. It's kind of hard to describe, so, I don't know. I think I'm funny. <laughs> it's difficult to know if I am funny. I have no real way to gauge it, because like, if I tell a joke, you know, when I'm out in public or something, I'm like, hey guys, joke, and people are like, oh, haha, um, and I can get the instant feedback. What to make a YouTube video, I'll say something, and I have no idea if you're laughing or not. So, I can just assume that since you're watching me, and since people leave me nice comments, they enjoy my content and probably laugh at it, but it's hard to know, like, for sure. So, I don't know. Uh, Star Wars dead until Disney sells it and sequel trilogy is vaporized. Disney sucks, I don't want to explain it anymore. Okay. Just say the most baseless, weird, un untrue things, but sure. Uh, you see, this is the th great thing about having a video that blows up. You get a ton of comments from, like, all sorts of fans. They're just like, oh, Star Wars video? Time to say I hate Disney. Oh, boy. Is it even relevant to the video? No, I just need to type, tell everyone that I hate Disney. Gus? <laughs> I did make a Gus joke. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe he didn't get it, or maybe he's just confused. It was a Breaking Bad reference. I've still not watched Breaking Bad but people talk about it so much that I basically know the entire plot of the show and I can make jokes about it. Because Giancarlo Esposito, who plays Moff Gideon, also plays a character in that show called Gus. And I know that fact, because people have made jokes about it. Um, losing to Mandos is better than losing to a tribe of stormtroopers eating teddy bears. Yeah. Uh, I'm still upset about that. Why, George? Why do you think that was a good idea? Um, Palps isn't racist, he's xenophobic. Okay, if we're gonna get technical. However, I thought Palpatine, racist was a, Palpatine being racist was a funny joke. So I put it in the video. What if IR Smart hits the gritty? Okay. What if he got real sturdy with... <laughs> You've left me speechless. I don't, I, don't, I don't know how you did that. Uh, it would most likely break the internet. I don't really think it would. When's the last time something broke the internet? There used to be a big phrase on the Twin Friends. Like, oh, this broke the internet. Someone posted... A celebrity posted this image and it broke the internet. It's like... I don't really think that's a phrase anymore. Stuff on the internet just kind of like becomes big, and then it becomes not big anymore after, like, a couple days. Ray Skywalker, more like Ray Avenger the Sith. That's actually, that's actually pretty funny. Uh, a simp no more. Impossible. Perhaps the IR Smart lore is incomplete. Look, I'm not a simp anymore, alright? I moved on. I have other things in life. There are other Star Wars characters I find attractive, like Ayo Sakura, that one, um, uh, Senator Chuchi, uh, Bo-Katan's pretty hot. Um, there's a ton of other characters that I'm into now, so it's not just Ray anymore. Um, easy peasy, Jawa squeezy. Iris Smart is clean and serene like the water flowing past. I think this man really is crazy, honestly. Y Gungan Youngling Nuggets. Gungan Youngling Nuggets. Gungan Youngling... Gungan Youngling Nuggets. Gungan Youngling Nuggets. Gungan... That's a real tongue twister, honestly. Props to you. Uh, I'm like 14, so... Okay, don't care. Uh, Killing Grogu would be the biggest surprise. They seem to be setting up Bo to do more... Then that could be the twist. It'd be really odd to bring Gideon back for 
<laughs> It'd be really odd to bring Gideon back for two episodes, like, like, just have him go away. So more than likely one of the good guys is gonna die. Well, that didn't happen. They just killed Gideon after introducing him. And he did, like, nothing. And now he's dead. Or maybe not dead. Why is the finale like this? Uh, I see a lot of people saying they love the finale. I'm like, really? You like the Mandalorian finale? I did not like that. I really did not enjoy it. Um, I mean, like whatever you want, but I really don't see what there is to like. It was just all over the place. There was some cool stuff, don't get me wrong, but jeez. Uh, the Indiana Jones movies are darn good. The first three are the best, yeah. I mean, when you get 007 himself, Sean Connery, to play the third movie, then you have a good movie. I own the only originals on DVD, so I watched that one, and I haven't seen the rest in a long time. I need to get them on DVD or Blu-ray. I need to get them on DVD. I have a lot of movies on DVD. Uh, I rewatched these because I was at somebody else's house. Um, and they had Paramount Plus, which is where you can watch the Indiana Jones movies. So I watched them there. Um, but, like, I want to have them on DVD, because I don't have them here. So that kind of sucks. Uh, I personally don't think anyone's dying. Well, you were mostly right, except for the Gideon part. Uh, my interest in the show... <laughs> my interest in the show died about halfway through Season 3. Yeah. Uh, Iris Martin is first cameo role. Thing. Imagine, like, I show up in The Mandalorian. Like, totally unexplained. Ha you know, most viewers have no idea who I am, except for my viewers. Most people are like, who is this? And then I died. That'd be hilarious. Um, I think Mando may be mind-wiped. And TBH, if they do kill someone, they won't stay dead for sure. Yep, they're probably gonna bring Gideon back. So, probably the most true thing that has been said in this comment section. Uh, it was actually learned, leaked in another Minecraft Discord server that Iron Dark will make his first appearance in live action as Gideon's replacement and set up for a fourth season with Boa Fett's return to Mandalorian culture. That'd be kind of sick. I could see that. Also, can we please have Shadow Troopers be canon? Like, I feel bad for my boy uh, Iron Dark. He's been not canon for so long. It's so upsetting. Shadow Troopers are so cool. They turn invisible. He could be in this room right now. I don't even know. Why can't we have them canon again? Din won't die. Yeah, you ended up being correct. I wonder how the water lore has changed from Legends to canon. Yeah, that's, uh... <sighs> Why is Wikipedia the way it is? Breasts aren't canon. Dang. Well, you're wrong, because they are canon now. Uh, well, actually, bras aren't canon either. Yeah, I I've said this before. The whole Carrie Fisher being like have not wearing a bra because George Lucas told her not to wear a bra. Uh, that's crazy. It is crazy. Uh, spoilers. Okay, it's a, I, I literally said it was spoilers in the post. But anyway, uh, bro, the title is crazy. I mean, the title's kind of... I think the thumbnail's a bit crazier. Again, that was also something I was worried about. I thought people were going to crucify me for posting this thumbnail. Because it's very uh, risque, I think is the word. Um, uh, you have something... <laughs> you have something I want. You may think you know what you are in possession of, but you do not. We'll keep it. This is where the fun begins. Uh, I was the 66th vote. Very nice. Congratulations. Uh, hmm. Yeah. And, uh, ha 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 ha. And, the uh, and, uh, that's why it explains why it's so searched. Yeah. If you're ever wondering, that is the reason why. Because every time someone mentions this, like, in a post online, people are like, why Why is this a thing? People go to Wikipedia and look up breast, and they're like, oh, the picture's not there. Gosh darn it. You know, if Disney didn't open that goofy starship hotel in Florida, instead open Jabba's Palace in Casino Vegas with Dancing Twilux, they'd be loaded in money right now. I did. That's not a bad idea. Like, like, so if I got some investors, like, if I got some investors and I proposed the idea of a casino in Vegas, right? It's Star Wars themed, but it doesn't have the Star Wars, like, name anywhere on it or else Disney will get in trouble. Or Disney will get me in trouble. If I made a, pl like, a, 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 a casino and it had dancers like the other casinos in Vegas do, I'm told, never been to Vegas, but I'm sure this is what, it, what it's like. I have a bunch of dancers that are dressed up like Twi'leks. They have, like, all the makeup and, like, the prosthetics, the t head, tail things, and, like, the painted skin. And I have them dance around, and then make it look kind of like a Jabba's Palace or just a Star Wars bar. Or maybe, like, the, the bar from, the brothel, brothel place from Andor. If it made it look like that, this could be a really great business venture. If I just, you know, don't have any legal trouble. Disney's probably going to shut it down. I'm going to have to find a workaround, some loopholes to jump through. But this could work. This Guys, invest. Invest in this idea. I think I could do this. I think this will be a great idea. You know, something a bit more mature, you know, kind of like an adult sort of themed, but with the Star Wars theme put on top of it. Yeah, this could work. This could definitely work. You. Okay. I don't know why you spelled it weird. Uh, emoji? Uh, he's on something, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, Star Wars theory. What do you even say? Let me, I want to look at this again. So this is Star Wars Theory, the most subscribed to Star Wars YouTuber. Um, he made this post on Twitter I saw 
where he kind of just made a list of, like, demands, I guess, of things he wants to happen. Um, so first of all, he wants Kathleen Kennedy to be let go. I don't know why people hate Kathleen Kennedy so much. She's Sure, she makes some weird decisions sometimes, but she's still a pretty good executive producer. She worked with Lucas for years, even before he sold Disney, but whatever. Uh, Lucasfilm, uh, I think it's Lucasfilm, story group filtered. Filtered? What do you mean? Uh, Disney influence gone. Yeah, like, that's ever gonna happen. Uh, meet with George and Dave. What do you mean, meet with George and Dave? <laughs> like, they already do a, half the Star Wars stuff that's going on. Um, George lists all products he wants to see made new. Now, movies and shows, games. I don't think he wants anything made. I think he just wants to be left alone. But sure, let's just drag George back into this. Give him priority of all creative decisions, then Dave. Essentially, he gets all the power he wants. Huh? What? Why? Why? Why can't we just let a lot of people, you know... No, no, we need to bring George back. He's the only one who can make Star Wars decisions, even though tons of other people have made incredible Star Wars things like Tony Gilroy, without any influence from George Lucas or Dave Filoni or anyone. But no... Let's not let them do it. They can't do Star Wars. Um, George sits in any board meetings he wants. Okay, is he part Is he part of... Does he own Lucasfilm now, or is he just like a consultant? I don't see what you want from him. Um, <laughs> all canceled Star Wars games released. Dude, you you can't just do that. BF4? That's not even a thing. 1313 never really got off the ground. The Mall game never really got anywhere. Young Boa Fett, that was the changed idea for 1313. But sure, they're just going to release all those games, because that's how it works. Uh, trilogy between six and seven, full deep fake. Why? Why do people want this? H heir to the Empire, maybe. What? Huh? Structure next ten years properly. What do you mean properly? What What does that mean? What, structure next ten years properly. Young Palpatine movie of his youth and rise to power. Plague is not well. That'd be kind of cool. I'm gonna give him that. That'd be kind of cool. Dark Horse makes Star Wars comics exclusively. No more Disney Marvel. I don't really know anything about Star Wars comics, but I don't know what it even means. Bring back Star Wars fan film festivals, the contest, the fans are everything. Yeah, this guy made like one Star Wars fan film and acts like he's the best, uh, like fan films are amazing. Oh, it was kind of cool. It was a cool Vader fan film, but I don't like get like he thinks he's so amazing because he made a fan film. Like, okay, cool. Um, episodes 10 through 12 announced, which ignore Disney's... Oh my gosh, I hate this idea so much. People for still like will say that this is a good idea, that they just make a new Star Wars trilogy and be like, oh, the sequels were just a dream. Luke just wakes up and be like, oh, that was a weird dream. <laughs> Like, that would be so stupid. How do you guys not realize that this would be the stupidest thing ever if they just act like the sequels aren't canon? They can't just ignore them. They they exist now. Like, imagine if they just... They, they can't do it. They, that, that's not possible. They can't just retcon three movies. It's not going to happen. Stop thinking it's going to happen. It's so stupid. Oh, they're, oh, they're going to make them not canon. Okay, that's not going to happen. It's way easier to make a book non-canon than it is an entire movie. Because imagine, like, ten years down the line, if they make the sequels not canon, there's now a new sequel trilogy... Imagine a fan trying to get into Star Wars is like, wait, there are these three movies that aren't canon because people just didn't like them, but then there are these new ones that are canon? What? It would be so confusing, and it would be so stupid. Just keep the sequels. My goodness. Least delusional Star Wars 3 take. Yeah, it, it's insane, the man, these, the, the thing he said. This man hasn't seen the sunlight in years. I mean, me neither, but at least I'm a somewhat reasonable person when it comes to Star Wars. I have a theory that Star Wars 3 doesn't like the sequels, or Disney, or Screws. Just a theory, though. Uh, yeah, the whole screws thing he said, that was fun. I'm glad we're still bringing that up, because it was very silly. Um, gets the one page, like, Vader asthma noises. People think the fans want breast singular, but in reality, give me Star Destroyer and immediately regret it. I want a Star Destroyer, that'd be cool. Um, Future Me says, I don't know. Uh, okay. Uh, let's turn the Star Wars to the first Galactic Empire and have Jar Jar be the one to hand over emergency powers to Dave, I guess. I don't know. Uh, average truest Star Wars fan to ever exist. Uh, yeah, that's another thing. The same people who are on that, like, whole Star Wars series are like, I'm a true Star Wars fan because I only like the originals and the prequel trilogy. Everyone else who liked the sequels, they're a fake Star Wars fan. It's like, oh, I'm a fake fan because I like Star Wars. That's weird. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> um, or let George endure his time with his family. Yes. Oh, my God. There's another thing. I, I, how do people not get this? That's the reason he sold to Disney is because he didn't want to make Star Wars anymore. He knew if he kept making Star Wars... He would just get old and die while doing it, and he would have wasted so much time, you know, when he could have been spending it with his family. That's what he wants to do now. That's the reason he sold Star Wars. He's come back, like, a few times. Like, I think he went on the set of The Mandalorian to just see, like, oh, this is cool you're doing this. But just let the man enjoy his life. It's so weird. Ugh. Uh, this is how I imagine Palps would act if he actually did become immortal. Like, full-on aging plus regeneration. He'd go full-tight for a while and then just not give a darn. Empire would be pretty chill eventually. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, I actually dislike that this man has a major voice in the Star Wars community. Me too. <laughs> Me too, man. And I think he honestly believes that he should be in charge of Star Wars because he made one Vader fan film. We get it, Disney sucks, but let's face it, Star Wars content would be on the verge of dying without the takeover. Exactly. There wouldn't be Star Wars content without Disney right now. Like, I don't think there would be... I don't think he would be successful if Star Wars Disney didn't exist. I think he'd still be making content, but the reason he is popular is because he hates Disney. That's why he has any success at all, is because he makes videos where, ah, oh, Disney sucks. That's literally the entire basis of his content. Without that, he goes back to what? Making actual Star Wars theories that get a decent amount of views? No, all he does now is just complain. You know, Star Wars theory. What if the sequels didn't exist? You know, for the hundredth time making the same video. I don't know. Uh, thanks for the extra lore, my guy. Didn't know about this. But I did know about the infamous Twi'lek nip slip, because my other brother would never shut up about it. Yes, in episode 6, I'm not going to show it here, but in episode 6, uh, if you look very closely during the scene where uh, Ula is dancing, then you can see a nip slip. It's it's pretty cool. Um, dude makes perfect sense. <sighs> I don't get what this. He says the most outrageous things and expects people, them to just happen, because he and some other people hate Disney. It's so ridiculous. I personally never hated Rey, and although she isn't my favorite, her mere mention can spark a flame war pretty fast, which is fun. Yeah. Really, easiest way to start an argument is just be like, guys, what do you think about Rey? And just, people will immediately just start attacking you. Even if you didn't say that you like Rey, people will immediately start attacking you because you just mentioned Rey. Uh, Star Wars Theory R is delusional. Yes, very delusional. Um, watch me be absolutely freaking annihilated because I watch this man. I do agree he wants so much. He doesn't like Disney with Star Wars. He made a high-budget film. People say Star Wars fans are the best at making Star Wars. Eh, I don't really see that. Um, I'm a huge Star Wars fan, and I made a short Disney story about Star Wars. This actually sounds kind of cool. I haven't looked it up yet. I'm going to get around to it. But it sounds pretty cool. So I'd like to see this guy's story. Because I don't I like fan stuff. I think fans making Star Wars stuff is cool. Even if it's often cringe, it's still cool to see. Some There are some great Star Wars fan films on YouTube that I occasionally see with, like, Stormtroopers or, like, other characters and people who are full-on cosplay. It looks great. Um, I think this guy is the reason Bress had to be listed on Wikipedia. Yeah, definitely fits. Definitely fits. The world is made for the 511 man. Yes, the world is made for me. I am the best. Uh, where could I get one? Uh, I don't remember where I got this poster. Probably Barnes & Noble. That's where I usually go to get calendars. Barnes & Noble's a cool store. They got books. They got Lego sets. They got all sorts of, I mean, mainly books. But they got cool stuff there. I have this exact same calendar, too. It's a good calendar. It's still April. I don't know if you can see. My calendar's right here. I just took a picture of it because I thought it looked cool. Uh, looks sick. It does look sick. Uh, yeah, that is a cool logo. Dude, it's got, like, all sorts of, like, stuff in the Imperial logo. It's very cool. Uh, ever notice how the bad guys have the most style? Yes! Palpatine has a special black made versus bathrobe with the hood. Invader has that immortal Im imported bantha leather suit with like a Okay, and what we get? The Empire looks way cool. They have the best aesthetic out of any Star Wars faction. Don't don't at me. The Empire is the best looking faction in all of Star Wars. They're just the best. Um, I will never be satisfied until I see Jar Jar actually use the. Ah, oh, come on. I don't get that. I don't like Jar Jar is so annoying. I I don't get it. I don't see why people think he's cool. Um. This here is peak male performance. Uh, Jar, Jar Jar without CGI. It looks very funny, but I kind of love it. Uh, it hits harder than a Wookiee curb stomping an Ewok. Okay. Uh, Michael Jackson was close, but I don't believe that. I think that's a lie. I, maybe it is true, but I don't believe that. I can't say I've ever liked the character, but if it wasn't for Jar Jar, we wouldn't have got... Yeah. Yeah. That is kind of true. I mean, again, like, Star Wars prequels were huge for CGI. There's a reason that CGI is so big today, for better or worse, but I don't know. Uh, no problem looking forward to it. Oh, yeah, this video. Okay, you ready? I'm going to complain about the experience I had with this video. So, my Mandalore interview. I uh, I kind of start, like, at the end of the week. Here's this IR Smart schedule. I'll tell you a bit about it. So, I kind of started... Uh, I watched the Mandalorian finale on Wednesday. Thursday, I started writing the script for that video. Friday, I recorded the audio, just me talking about it. Then, Saturday, I did the actual editing. Of putting it all together in a video. It ended up being about half an hour long, so I'm like, okay, sure. I export the video, and it's already, like, late at night, because I took so long editing on Saturday night. So I figure I'll just leave the computer. It'll render overnight. I come back in the morning. The rendering got stuck, and I don't know why it got stuck. It just won't keep... It just got stuck at rendering, so I'm like, all right, well, great. I just wasted, you know, leaving my computer on all night. So I spend all of Sunday, like, about half, half the morning trying to just figure out what's making it stop rendering. I finally figured out by just cutting out one of the clips... For whatever reason, it was making the thing not render. I don't know why all the other clips were working fine. So, then I finally get it rendered, I upload it to YouTube, and I spend the entire day Sunday just trying to get it, because every time I upload it, it has a new copyright issue. It's like, oh, this clip, just this one 10 second clip, it has, it has a bit too much copyrighted footage, or like it's a bit longer than 10 seconds. 
So I have to go back in the editor, edit that clip, upload it again. Every time this takes an hour, because it takes an hour for the video to render. And then I upload it, and it says try again. So I go in again, fix the new issue, upload it. Now there's a new issue, and just over and over and over again until finally I just did one big edit one last uh, last night, left that going, uploaded this morning on Monday, because Monday when I'm recording this. And finally I got it uploaded. Oh my goodness, it was the worst experience I've had uploading a video. So yeah, I'm actually, I'm, I'm recording this after I uploaded it. So we might see some comments, but not very many, I don't think. Um, man, oh man, the time is near to absorb more content through my eyes and ears in the good old brain. Ha, huh, okay. Uh, I am probably a lore guy, gamer, and NPC. Cool, I, people still watch this video, that's great. This is his final form. He looks pretty sick, honestly. Um, there must be knowledge that Maul won so bad in the Rebels thing with a hot... I vaguely remember this. I don't remember it that well. I remember there was a whole thing going on Rebels. The Badonkers, if you will. The Dobahabahonkers. <laughs> Specifically one that was white, white, waif, white waifu. How do you say that word? I don't know. Uh, skill issue. It was a skill issue. Because I suck at editing. It's I'm literally like the thing I hate the most. I hate editing. I'm so bad at it. It's all good. Yeah. Uh, and he yeah, had just Mando Season 3. It was just... It's just a big disappointment, honestly. It was just disappointing. Literally unacceptable. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's kind of how I made it feel for myself. Every time it went bad, I was like, it was terrible for me because I was like, you're so stupid. Why can't you figure it out? So, I was not having a good day yesterday, but I feel better today. Uh, my biggest problem are one, lack of focus, two, uh, din, lack of interconnectivity, and three, waste potential for the finale. Yeah, it's just, it's just disappointing. And also, Moff Gideon, clone, opening his eyes. It's just so much silly stuff, but. Okay, uh, this is the end of the video. I actually do need to get going. I have an exam in a couple of hours. So, okay, that's it. Wish me luck. Bye.